unfortunately we are kind of back into a, a dry cycle. In the last 30 days, we are about one to two inches below what we would expect to see over that 30 day period. We're kind of at a critical point right now. We've been getting just enough rain to you know, keep the reservoirs from dropping, to keep the stream flow propped up. Either we can get those rains and our system improve, or if we get into you know, April and then May, and then we don't get those rains, then we're gonna start really watching the system. The BRA water supply system is at about 75% full, and that's where it's been for not only the last two weeks, but the last month or so. The most improvement probably is in the upper part of the basin. Possum Kingdom over the last couple of weeks has come up about three tenths of a foot, but the rest of the basin is pretty much holding steady. The drought in the basin compared to about two weeks ago is really the same as the water supply system. There hasn't been too much of a change. The BRA water supply system of 11 reservoirs is currently in a stage one drought watch condition, which is a 5% voluntary reduction in water use. So the BRA drought contingency plan has four levels of drought stages. You can add up from an individual reservoir basis. 10 of our reservoirs in the BRA water supply system are in a stage one drought watch condition. Plus uh, our Lake Proctor is actually in a stage three drought emergency condition, which is a 20% reduction of water use. Unfortunately, the drought doesn't really appear to be improving at this moment. The National Weather Service has issued a spring outlook for the Brazos Basin, which says that we could experience normal conditions. So we have, you know, basically three months of spring. And so there's a real good chance for improvement over the next few months. So we still are in the middle of a drought. We're not out of the woods and water conservation is still very important. Water conservation is something we should do all the time, whether it's wet or dry. It's something that can help extend our water supplies farther into the future to ensure that we don't run out of water. So over the next couple of weeks, the near-term forecast, um, you'll see chances of rain here and there, but there's currently nothing in the near-term forecast that's going to be a big game changer that's going to really improve conditions in the Brazos Basin. You know, every little bit of rain that we get helps, but currently right now there's there's definitely not a drought buster in the near-term forecast. The Brazos River Authority the water supply system is in good standing. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It's a resilient system that is meeting the needs of the basin. 